breaking tonight. An Orange County woman hospitalized after she was stabbed multiple times outside her home in Orlo Vista. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kara Moore. Deputies believe the woman was attacked during an argument with her boyfriend. There's no word on her condition, but the attack is another example of violence that many say is plaguing our community. Tonight, local residents gathered at an Orlando church for a rally aimed at stopping that violence. West 2's Travel Island is live at that church tonight. Well, Kara, the ceremony was about bringing people together inside of this sanctuary to remember lives that were lost to violence and also talk about how to get the problem under control. The sound of praise filled the sanctuary of Solid Rock United Methodist Church as members spread their message of peace. It's a message Patricia Davis listens to with a heavy heart. Violence devastated her family back in 2012. Her grandson Joshua was killed. He was abducted off the street, snatched, thrown in a van. He was put in a house in Pine Hills and burnt. His body was burnt. Joshua Johnson's murderer is still on the run. Stories like what happened to him is the reason why community members, law enforcement officials, and also elected officials came together. We can't police our way out of this. It's not possible. You can never hire enough of us to fix this. It's got to be fixed at the community level. Orlando Police Chief John Mina says fixing this at a community level will require officers to build relationships with the people they swore to protect. But it's not all about the bad guys. Uh, I think I tell my officers to take a little bit of time out of each day to touch the life of child. It's a message Patricia Davis prays will take hold and spare the life of a child while hopefully helping to catch the criminals that killed her grandson. I will never stop and I will never stop and give up this search for stop the violence, not only for my family, but if there's very many more families that are going through the same thing that I'm going through, we are left with questions. Well, law enforcement officials tell me that violent crime in this area is actually on the decline, and they attribute that to events like this, which builds partnership and also brings awareness. For now, we're live in Orlando, Travel Island, West 2 News.